This demonstration shows how to collaboratively develop business process with a business process special architect and the teamwork server. First of all, let us check out the project from server. We can go to the team and open teamwork client. And we can work on the VP teamwork server, subversion, CVS, or perforce. Today's IP, I prepared the teamwork server. Let me just input the information. I run the teamwork server on my machine. So I can just input localhost using the name Peter and the password. And I click OK. And after login, there is a project called Enterprise Workflow. I can open this workflow by putting it in the right hand side. Click OK. And I click Open Projects. Then the Enterprise Workflow is opened. And this is the workflow that I process the order. And then confirm quantity, issue invoice, something like that. And if I want to do some change on this one, say for example, and I want to insert something here to waiting for payment, I need to confirm the payment method. Then I can use the sweeper to move the shape right hand side and click on the small icon here to insert the say um, check uh, payment method, something like that. And then now I find that it use too much space let me just do some compact on the space I can use the mana to pull it back okay now I did my change <coughs> and then I can commit my change to server then I go to team and commit and I can write some comment for my commit and and I will say add check payment task something like that and I also can preview my change I can go to the preview tab and then I can select what I want to preview. I click the task and see in left hand side and right hand side is a server and the local. And anyway, there's some new uh, task, say check payment. It is only available on local. Okay, then I commit my change to server. <coughs> okay, after the change is committed, and let me just switch to other user. And on the left hand side is a login as Peter. The right hand side is a login as John. I can open John client and I can get John change to my local. I can get update. Here I can update the change from John. And I update. Now I just click OK. And then you see I pick the John's uh, modification to myself. And this is just an send to server, send to server, and get the update from the server. You can also do concurrent modeling. For example, I change this one. I change the service type to the task type is the user task. Task type to user task in Peter. And I can also maybe in Peter. I also I just did like this, and I commit the change to server and set user task something like that. Just click OK. Then my change go to the server. <coughs> and let me just go back to John. John is still working on the version. He check out. And I can ch change other things. For example, I want to change the color of the shapes. And say I want to change to color in green. I like this one. And then I can select it and also use the format copier to copy to other shapes. Like this. Or even to the shapes I change to the users okay now I can commit my change to server I don't know uh, assume I don't know others is committed then I just commit and I will say just apply some color frame and okay then you see I change my change and John's change is merged together and let's go back to the Tom to John login and I can just update from server then the change is back to both synchronized and thank you for watching this video